What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, to my audience out there, can black people be racist too? Let's find out. In the year 2023, it also amazes me how many people are like, well, I don't see color, or it would be so much better if we just didn't worry about someone's skin tone. You as an individual are contributing to the problem because our broader society sees color and it's not just physically seeing a color. There is so much more to it than just that. And if you don't understand that, you are again part of the problem. And it's just yeah. to keep telling people that over and over is so frustrating. And I was just on TikTok and there's a trend where parents are teaching their kids not to see color, quote unquote. And I'm like, Okay, so the next round of people that are going to be joining our workforce, this next generation, are going to be dealing with the same issues that we're dealing with now. Because to say you don't see color, you don't see me. You don't care to acknowledge the struggles that people like me face. And we're not looking for problems. We're not. <laughs> Let's stop the damn video right there. For y'all that don't know who this lady is right here, her name is Adrio Parker. She's the DEI and she instructs employees to judge each other based on skin color in the workplace. Is she racist? To the people who have children right now, do you want your children to look at anybody else and judge them off their skin color? Is that how we should operate as a society this day and age, 2024? Is that the way we should be operating? This is the definition of racism. And this is why I tell my own people sometimes that sometimes you don't even understand how, can, how you can be the most racist individual in the room. Women, stop playing off of what happened in the past to your own issues and your own problems. This is getting ridiculous and it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand now. Y'all want to hold on to what happened in the past so badly that y'all want to blame it on the newer generation of people that probably don't even look at color, really. That don't even look at color, really. Me, as a black man, me, as a father, I'm going to teach my black children not to look at someone's skin color and judge them. Because... I don't want anybody judging me. And if they do judge me, that's their prerogative. This is one thing we have to understand that's going on in society regardless. People are going to be judged no matter what. Now, if that's what's installed into people in their households, so be it. But to go out and state that people should be judged on their color, that's an issue that she needs to deal with in her household. Why would you want to people why would you want people to live like that? Why do people feel like that's the way to live this day and age? And people will actually suck up the bull crap that this young lady right here is talking about. Y'all need to remember and recognize the color of my skin so y'all can understand what we you didn't deal with nothing. Half of these people crying racism have never dealt with nothing. They just, they just base it off of what they've seen in the past or what they've seen on TV, i.e. the crackhead George Floyd. Y'all base everything off of little situations like that. Stop it. Just stop it. Yes, there are racist people out there. But in my eyes, if that's the case, everybody's, everybody's racist. Everybody. Black people, white people, Chinese, Indian, Korean. I don't give a damn who it is. Everybody's racist. Everybody has a racist bone in their body. Everybody. And I'm not going to sit up here, even if I didn't like a white person or I didn't like a Chinese person. I'm not going to sit up here and tell my kids they need to hate that person and they need to judge that person. 
they need to judge that person off their character after they meet that person, after they get to know that person. Not just base it on because their skin is white, their skin is yellow, their skin is tan, they're an alien. Don't base it off of that. Base someone actually off their character. That's how I look at it. I want to see your actions. I want to see what you're actually about. How are you? What do you bring to society in a whole? That's what I want to base stuff off of. What do y'all think about this? She's literally sitting up here telling people they need to judge people. Mainly black people. She's telling us we need to judge people. Is that the way we should be living? Do we need to keep on holding on to the past? I'm asking black people that right now. Do we need to blame stuff that's going on today? Because to, in my eyes, looking through my own lens, I don't care what other, whatever lens y'all looking through, that's fine. But looking through my lens, we're not going through half the things that our ancestors went through. We're not going through half the struggle they went through. But somehow, these women, out, especially the women out here, y'all want to blame everything on racism. Every little thing. If nothing goes your way, it's racism. They didn't serve your food right here. It's racism. Everything is racism. Everything is not racist. But somehow, some way, women of color always want to interject racism in everything. And then they want to try to hype us up as a black culture to be racist against everybody else. I don't have problems with white people. I have had issues before, but I don't think they're all racist. Have I came across racism? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure I have. Pretty sure we all have had. Have white people come across racism? I'm pretty sure they have too. I'm pretty sure they have too. Everybody has came across racism before, not just black people. And to go out and spew this nonsense that she's talking about, these are the type of people that we don't need out here putting out messages. These are the type of people that are around your kids that would want to indoctrinate your kids. She's the type of woman that would want your kids to be part of the BLM movement, seeing how corrupt BLM is. She's the type of person that would influence your children to get involved in stuff and make them be deemed racist when your children probably aren't really racist. But with her indoctrinating them and putting certain stuff in their head, they're going to feel a certain way about white people or Latinos or Asians just because she had a bad experience. Just because you had a bad experience, don't put it on everybody else and don't think everybody's racist. In my eyes, everybody's racist. Everybody. There's no one side of the spectrum here. So stop with the nonsense. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.